Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> I can't do it when I'm laughing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trish, and this is where I document my journey as a fiber artist. So knitting, weaving, dyeing, spinning, washing, drum carding, there's probably more. I hope you'll join me. I'm gonna do a review on a big new purchase I made. I bet you're wondering why I have all these tools. About eight or nine months ago, I put a carter on layaway, and yes, I'm gonna unbox another carter today. I put it on layaway with Sherry Tenney's uh, fiber Facebook wholesale group, whatever she calls it, and I've linked you guys both before I've linked you guys before but I will link it below and she just lets you like make payments on it until you pay it off I sold my little Ashford standard to pay off the last couple hundred bucks and here it is I'm pretty excited it's motorized brother and I can't even remember the rest of the specs right now and I'm so excited that I don't even want to go look at my email so here we go you guys ready we're gonna open this now we're going to pry these out how do you do it just rip it probably <laughs> crap it's gonna take 200 years it's very heavy <laughs> Really? <laughs> okay. okay, so in here there is, I'm not sure if this is just a little flicker or a little burnishing brush. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is a little flicker and I can tell by the way the teeth are going. Look how cute that is. So cute. There's a doffer stick in here. Oh, maybe their burnishing brushes go the opposite way of what I'm used to. But anyway, they're really nice. Okay, and then I've got my book here. Oh, I'm going to put that in there. So the one I got is the Extra Wide Motorized Brother, of course. The reason I got it is because after I sold Big Tom, I kind of missed being able to make a giant bat. Holy, did you see that? That's big. It's taking up this whole box. Did you not know how big it was when you ordered it? Apparently not, because I feel a little shocked. And look, look at this. That's quite something. It is. 
Can you help me lift it out? Yeah. Would you like to lift on that side or this one? I don't know. something with it. That video was filmed back in October 2019. It is February, almost the middle of February 2020 now. So I'm gonna give you guys an update and I'm gonna also explain some stuff that happened with this Carter and show you some super cool features. So my hair is longer. I have the same outfit on though, so. Okay, so the first thing is this Carter now lives with the Strouch um, in this closet. So my husband put this dresser on casters for me so that I can just pull it out. And hopefully so I would use it more because we used to have it in a different part of the house and it was just kind of not accessible. Okay, so when I got this Carter back in October, I noticed almost immediately, but I thought it was me that every time I put some fiber into it, it was slowing down, even if I kept it really, really, really thin. So I contacted brother right after I figured out that it wasn't me, because at first I just kept trying to make it thinner or do it better. They were extremely responsive. I would say they did a textbook perfect job of customer service taking care of this. So I just first want to put that out there. They were amazing. And um, I sent them a video and I was like, I don't think this is normal. And I had looked on YouTube for like a bunch of videos and reviews to see if, if it was just me, basically. And I did not see certain things on there and I wanna tell you because if you buy one of these, you're gonna wanna know. The reason I got this Carter is because of the size. I originally thought I wanted a Pat Green Super Card and that's why I had contacted Sherry Tenney. So, um, cause she'll also sell those on Layaway and Brother now owns the plans and is producing the Pat Green Super Carter. I think all the Pat Green Carters, but. So she said to me, this is the one that she uses to produce the really big bats that she makes. And I was like, mm, I do miss the huge ones. So this is the one I went with. And after I contacted brother, they got back with me and watched the video and they said, yeah, that shouldn't be like that. 
So first they sent a power supply thinking maybe that was the problem. John is really handy and it wasn't hard and he switched it out and they said that was fine. And then um, that did not solve the problem. So they sent what's called a, I hope I don't say this wrong, a potentiometer, is that right? So my understanding is that controls like the current that controls the speed. I don't know. Look it up. He switched that out and he said it was literally like plugs. And that fixed the problems and they did a perfect job of responding to me, telling me, you know, we're gonna get this fixed for you. And I was like, the truth is, let's be real. I'm kind of like, I don't feel time crunched. During that whole exchange, I learned something that I've never heard before, I didn't know, and I think it could help other people that have this carter. So on the super card, um, Pat Green had it set up so the bigger drum went at like top speed all the time. And I don't pretend to really understand all that, but they told me that this carter is also designed to do that. But um, that actually has made a really big difference. And I have heard so many people say, no, no, they both have to go super slow. So I actually think, and maybe I'm crazy, that it's better this way. Because when this one's really going, but this one's slow, even with a fine fiber, it's like it pulls it straight and onto the carter and it just seems to do a really good job. So that's something I've learned that is important if you buy this carter and don't read the instructions because you think you know about carters like I did. I mean, I totally thought, I got this, I know what I'm doing. So there's another cool feature on this carter that I wanna show you that I've never had on a carter before. Maybe there are other ones that have it, I don't know. When you saw me take that first bat off, it's up here still. When you saw me take that first bat off the carter, I was running it slowly on reverse to raise the area that I was pulling the bat off so that I could pull more of it off. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, you know what? I should probably spin this. That was not necessary and I'm gonna show you why. So I think this is probably the coolest feature on this carter to me. If you want this drum to move freely, so you might want this also if you were gonna like pull off roll eggs or if you wanted to clean the drum or anything, you can just pull out, oh, I hope I can show you, this little pin. See that? And now it spins freely and you're not at risk of harming anything else, you know, that causes it to spin. And then when you're ready to be done, I don't know if I'll be able to see, but you just put it back in and you're locked again. Is that not the coolest? I love that feature. So my final review is that I absolutely love this Carter. I like it better than Big Tom. I had two drums for Big Tom. I don't feel like I need another drum for this one. So it's amazing. I have used it a lot. You're gonna see it a lot in future videos. And honestly, for the money, like it costs less than a 10 year old Strouch, which I also still love, but for the money and being able to put it on layaway with Sherry, that was pretty like painless. I don't know how else to say it. It's pretty painless when you're just paying, you know, a little bit at a time and then all of a sudden you're done. So I highly recommend this one. I did not think I was a brother girl, but I think now I am. Honestly, I cannot say enough about how much I like it. I absolutely think this is a great carter. So these are in plastic because I really don't want to mess them up, but I do have one in a little bag. The roll eggs, I'm gonna try and get less glare. Oh, shoo. The roll eggs that are coming off this thing are amazing. They're like fluffy, but they're still, well um, arranged I guess you would say and I just think it's amazing thanks guys you will be seeing in a couple of videos coming up really soon I am behind on editing I have like hours of footage so I will see you guys soon I love you bye